2012, December marks the start of the Amsterdam Light Festival, a collection of light-based artwork installed along the canals throughout the city centre. With the historic city streets adorned with holiday lights as a beautiful glowing backdrop, you can choose to walk, run, or cruise the canals to experience the festival's themed art installations each year. We're, doing, we're on a boat. We're doing um, a tour of the uh, light festival, which happens every year in Amsterdam. We're very excited. This year, we boarded a Stroma canal cruise on a chilly but thankfully dry Tuesday evening and were greeted with a host of incredible artwork reflecting the Light Festival's 12th edition theme, Revealing Art, AI, and Tech. Our cruise departed from Dom Rock 5, which is across from Central Station. We'll share links to the festival and cruise information in the comments below. Like a swirling vortex of light sucking everyone and everything in, technology has permeated our lives. Let's consider the consequences. Facial recognition software isn't as flawless as one might think. How do we know the algorithms are free from bias? The light patterns from these spinning LEDs generate artificial versions of organic spiral leaf forms called philotaxis. Not shown is the Your Presence lights on the other side of the bridge. In this highly connected world, when you are off in this universe, you are on in the digital one. Contact is one of the fundamental ways in which we communicate. This artwork was created with 1,500 primary school students considering what the next connection might be. a visual glyph that everyone understands. But like the floppy disk icon, will it lose its meaning? Cell phones. Our lives often revolve around them. It's hard to see, but there's a face trying to escape this supersized prison. VR goggles. A portal to another world or a blindfold? Are we
Are we so absorbed by our devices that we forget to interact with the world around us? Beauty in the textures of the urban world. These stacks of golden coins mimicking a stock market ticker where predictive AI technology is having an impact on the financial world. These melancholy human sculptures were generated with the help of the AI generator Dal E2 and the prompt of this year's festival brief. Once we reached the Amstel River, we had to wait for a few minutes while some barges moved out of the way. We didn't mind. The view from the water here is always spectacular. Amsterdam's famous skinny bridge always looks beautiful lit up at night. Half of the city's population suffers from loneliness. Sit on a chair here and only the one next to you folds out, encouraging closeness and connection. Instead of carrying the heavens, this cyborg Atlas is carrying the digital world on his back. Can we balance technology and our natural world? Dreams of a perfect technological utopia brimming with beauty. A block-based artificial landscape like a virtual zen garden. Is the impact the same? visual symphony projected on the side of the National Maritime Museum. Do you find these shapes and patterns hypnotic, much like our digital devices?
giant idle robots waiting. Our systems are learning how to work autonomously, but what will they learn from us? and water below are as much a part of this artwork as are the lights installed underneath the bridge. We're back at Central Station. The entire cruise took about 75 minutes, including our short delay. The festival this year is absolutely brilliant and we can't recommend enough that you see it for yourself. Thanks for watching and coming along with us on our light festival canal cruise. Tote zines.